don't want to keep you too long because I know you got a mission. I know you got a plan, all right? Now, I want you want to make sure you get your eyes on me because I travel everywhere. I travel everywhere and I talk to people, bro. So when I come here, I get emotional. Man. I'm like, man, why the hell I keep coming to watch me? And I always get emotional. Then I start to figure out, dang, man, I, I used to be here. I used to do a lot over here. I want y'all to have a clear understanding. Because I had an amazing, amazing coach, Coach Roger Byrne. Yo. Man, you know that sometimes you on your nerves, you don't understand why you're talking about sit up right, shake people's hands, put your earrings on, Coach Sully, you don't, you, don't, you don't get what he's doing for two. You don't even get it. You don't even know. You're not going to even know, yo, until two years from now. I'm going to be real with you. I appreciate Coach Sully. And I love him. Because he ain't doing what everybody doing. He put in still in you greatness, man. Y'all don't even know that. Y'all don't even know. Y'all not gonna know. I didn't know, man, when I left, all I wanted to do, I'm gonna be real with y'all. When I start playing football, all I wanted to do was chase females. And I wanted to get in that position where I shine a light on me so I get more females. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Alright? So when I got here, I wasn't the smartest person. So I started to think, okay, what I can do. And this is what I started to realize. I see people, and I don't know about y'all, y'all probably got the same thing as more everybody go through it. People I know, I say, all right, bro, I love you, man, I'm gonna see you later. And next day, later don't even come, because they don't control it, they did. Or they locked up. Or something happened. Then I started to realize, man, we ain't even control what's going on around us. You don't control tomorrow. We ain't even control the weather today. You don't control the teacher. You don't control your household. You don't even control your mom or your daddy in your life. You don't have that control. But guess what I found out? You got control of each and every last one of y'all. You got control of you. You control of you. You control if you got the right attitude. You control if you cool with somebody, you not cool with somebody. You control your emotions. This is what I want. You better take this with you for the rest of your life. If you don't control your emotions, you will never control your money. Never. If you don't control your emotions, you'll never control your money. You hope your mama say you got an anger problem? Yeah, you will, because you just hope your mama said you will. Don't get it twisted, bro. I'm from here. You go in that gym, my, my name ain't no more than that, more boys than anyway. My, my, I love this school so much, I built my, my house a block down. It's down like, man, damn. I done get a lot, yo. What else can I give? And so now I'm in, a, I'm in a stage of my life where I'm starting to learn. I built a business, a multi-million dollar business, might I add. And I, I got some, a lot of property. And now I'm like, man, I need to give back. I got people like Coach Sutton really, really give it to these kids. How can I share that energy, share that love, share that understanding? Y'all got to help to understand, I'm your brother. I'm here to serve you for real. So I got to ask you, why are you really controlling yourself? Are you in the classroom, you controlling yourself? Or you think it's cool and funny to be late? Or you think it's cool and funny to do less? Because of your mindset, if you're not intelligent, man, somebody gonna control you. Did you not know that? If you don't challenge yourself intellectually, somebody gonna control you. And I've never been a straight A student, but I had to challenge myself intellectually. Right now, I read two books a month. And guess what? Because some of y'all gonna say, I don't like reading. You don't have to like reading. I got I got on. I got on on my phone. Instead of listening to shaking that ass and smoking that dope on your phone, why don't you listen to some education? Something to give you some energy. Something to give you some mindset. Some things that's gonna mess you up. I bet you, I bet you I ain't believe this. Check this out. I can teach anyone how to run a million dollar business in 12 to 18 months. Including you. You're like, what? Never heard of it. Just by your knowledge. Got a guy. And I chose to control myself. You control your discipline. You control if you hit on time. Am I right or wrong? Man, I need to write. Man, find a way. If somebody go suddenly say I got a thousand dollars for you to be here, would you be here? Yeah. Well, it's a thousand dollars? Well, right now he got your future right here. I mean, I got your future. Just be here. So y'all put a thousand dollars on it, but you ain't putting your future on it. The more you hear, the more work you do. You control your effort. Am I right or wrong? When you get on that field, you control what you do and you won't do. When you control what purpose you have when you get on the field. 
You control, hey, what's my mission, man? Why am I here? Are you playing, practicing like you want to be great? Or are you doing it just to have fun? Do you really believe in yourself? One of the biggest things you control, man, you control your thoughts. You control, and don't think you don't, man. People don't think they don't control their thoughts. They say, hey, man, I'm thinking I'm negative. I'm negative. You control your negative. I'm going to give you a tip how you do it. So I'm never, I'm never in a bad mood. You can ask you. Never in a bad mood. I've never had a bad day in my life. So a technique I do in the morning, I wake up in the morning, I think of three things I'm grateful for. Always. Simple things. Light switch. Hot water. Wake up and can't wash your ass and you ain't got no hot water. All right? Simple things. All right? I can walk. So every morning I think about some things I'm grateful for. And anytime some negativity come around me, I open my mouth and start speaking on something positive. Or I speak about this positive thing. Then I don't listen to positive. I don't listen to nothing negative. All that negative music, I don't listen to it. All right? I ain't around negative people. I'm being real with you. Okay? So you can control your environment. You can control you by making sure who you're around and who you're protecting yourself around. You understand what I'm saying? So the number one thing that you need to have a clear understanding, you control yourself. So you got a football season about to start, all right? It's up to you. It could be 12 weeks or it could be 15 weeks. It could be 12 weeks or 15. Y'all know the difference? A regular season or a state championship. I was fortunate enough to go to state championship twice while I was at Washington Mary Magnet High School. All right? It was no more talent that we had than what y'all have right now. It was just sure determination, and it was something that, that started to be lost. I was not only responsible for me, I was responsible for him. And he responsible for him. And we rolled together. I made sure, hey, bro, chill out, man. Chill out in class. Hey, look how that's going. Bro, we trying to get someone. I need you with me. I can't, I can't, not, not, bro, shut the hell. Hey, bro, I need you with me, man. I'm not getting to the championship without you and you. I can't do it without my dog. I can't do it without you. Dude, let's do this, bro. I need you. You gonna commit to that or you not gonna commit to that? It's that simple. Does that seem hard? Does that seem like something y'all can accomplish? So, it's definite practice. Take this out, definite practice. It's clear understanding of what you want to accomplish and what you want to achieve. Understanding that you cannot do it by yourself, so you have to uplift everybody around you. It's a family. You gonna have a great time here. You're going to have fun. You're going to jail as brothers. If you don't see people in this room as brothers, something wrong, man. Something wrong. So once you start to understand the concept, what Coach Sullivan is trying to pour into you, and understanding the true plan, not only just making you a great player, but also making you a great man. Once you start understanding it, you buy into that. Once you start controlling you, control yourself. Your teacher don't. Your parents really don't control you. Nobody can control you. They can influence you. They can talk to you. Coach Sutton can, can talk to you, talk to you, talk to you, talk to you. But you really have to make that decision. I'm asking y'all, please, start to check yourself and look at what exactly what can I do to better myself. And once you're doing it, once you're checking yourself, once you're thinking about your control, there's a bunch of myths that they've been telling you all your life. All right? There's a bunch of myths that you've been seeing on TV, on social media. There's a bunch of bullshit that they've been telling you. That you fold, you, you got to stay poor. That you need money to make money. That's a damn lie. You don't need money to make money. You need, you need intelligence. You need to solve other people's problems. Did y'all know that? Y'all ain't know that, no. You don't need no money to make money. Solve a problem. Solve a problem for a million people. I bet you'd be a million that. Solve a problem. Life is about solving problems. You want to make, I, I've discovered how to make a lot of money. You want to make a lot of money, come talk. Solve a problem. You want your hair cut, that's a problem, right? You want to run to get that man that money to get that hair cut. Am I right or wrong? People want to get out of jail, so guess what they do? They call the car, man. They, hey, I got to get my people out. So they solve somebody's problem. Once grass cut, I'm, I never cut my grass, ever. I never, ever cut my grass. I pay to get that grass cut. You want to win, solve the problem. How you going to win? It's not hard. Don't blame the coach. Don't blame the players. Oh man, you can't. Dude, if you really put forth the effort, just think about this. If you really put everybody, all 11 on offense, all 11 on defense, all against the same man, we're going to play with every five in our body. Really don't matter what they call. 
Am I right or wrong? Right. It don't matter what they call. So I'm going, you'll say, bro, I'm right here. We, we play everything, especially if you're on TP. I blame them. Especially when you hear, and I'm not the only one, bro. You got an army with you. You got a team of people with you. You don't even know how great y'all are. You don't even know how many people pushing behind you. You don't even know the spirits in this room. It's like, let's go. You don't know. You don't know about Coach G, Coach Tipto. You don't know about Robin Byrne. Coach Will, you don't know about these people. Man, they're as great as they can through this. Man, it ain't, it ain't nothing changed, yo. Nothing changed. They all grew up in the same area. We all kin. We all know somebody. I guarantee you, you go to your neighborhood, you go to your house, you ask, hey man, y'all know Wolf Carter? They would say, yeah, y'all know Carter, man. It's my boy. We five, we pay. It's called selling responsibility. My responsibility, everybody's community, my responsibility to make you great. We don't control you. You control you. So you got everything. You got the effort. You got everything. You got the everything around you to be great. You don't see it, but it is. It's there. This is, a, this is an amazing institution. I don't care what anybody say. In anywhere on the world, I know I'm from South Hill. It made me who I am today. My sister, my, all my sisters, my brother, they, 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 they live here. Doctors, lawyers, NFL players. My cousin, Ed Kinsey, that, uh, 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 Brandon Wayne. Do you realize the greatness? Now, the last thing I'm going to say. This is what y'all need to really, really do, bro. This is serious right here. And this, this really messed my head up. Is if you control you, you control every fiber in your body. You can do the effort. You can do the discipline. Sometimes it's going to be hard. This is going to be hard. Man. The flesh, you in that flesh, you be real. Flesh like touching flesh. I won't touch them little girls. So I'm telling you. Flesh might like smoking. Flesh might like, like drinking. So you, you understand that you wrap the flesh, it's going to be hard. It's hard for your grown man, too. So the elf, but the most important thing is thinking too small. If you don't think you can go to the championship, you ain't going. If you can't think, you don't think you can beat the greatest and baddest boy. They got high school players playing on ESPN. You don't think you can beat them, you can't. I don't know if you're gonna beat them, but if you don't think you can't, you cannot do it. You gotta start thinking, man, what? Well, how great can I be? How great can this team be? We can be beating the way we can. And when you start seeing other teams, you're like, damn. They ain't no better than us. Go to state championship. you like, bro, we could have been here. But they were thinking big and you wasn't. So it's time for you to start controlling who you are. Today, take on the effort. Take on the responsibility of your life. Stop crying saying somebody else wasn't in your life. Stop crying and saying somebody did somebody else. Stop crying and saying, I'm from God's sport. I don't have to, man, stop this shit. I know a bunch of millionaires and ballers in this band. You understand? You the same thing. I ain't no, no, I ain't no more better, no more special than anybody in this room. Set. I wasn't in this building, but we sat in. I had that red, that black green and gold on. That shit so beautiful, son. I still got it in my life. Hey, hey, I tell you what. What game? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a free. I got, I got my jacket. I got everything still in my dog room closet today, and I'm fifty. You feel me, bro? Man, I'll do anything to be in your shoes right now and know what I know. And I don't dominate them motherfuckers. I don't ever want you to think you can compete. Nobody can compete with you. You dominate. And you know how you dominate? You dominate. You dominate your mindset. Once you dominate, once you punch in the mouth, and you dominate, and you dominate, oh, I'm going to leave this school. They talk whatever they want to talk. I'm going to show y'all. You feel what I'm saying? Bro, all the glory is yours, man. The abundance of the world will come to you. When you start thinking big, I'm telling you, the abundance of the world will come to you. We everybody always gonna go through some little stuff, but the abundance of the world will come to. You. So I want you to think big, man. I thank y'all for taking your time to talk to me. I want y'all to have a clear understanding. I'm gonna be around all year. I'm gonna be popping up, popping in, see what's up. Hey, Cody, man, you need something, bro? Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the one that's feeding y'all for uh for homecoming. So I'm gonna make sure y'all take care. Y'all good. Y'all need something. I need to make sure y'all good. Put y'all in a position to be great. All right? Never forget, I love y'all. I'm honored that y'all wearing this, these beautiful colors. I hope you're honored and you're respected. All right? Yes, sir. One love. Y'all take care of y'all.